Hello, St. Timothy's families. It is so good to be with you again today. I have Tom and I have Peter with me again, and I am Lisa, and I'm just really glad to have some time with you in your home. So thank you for welcoming us into your home as we welcome you into ours. And our whole series um, this fall is all about how Jesus comes into our homes and he meets us there because we have been spending a lot of time in our homes, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. because of COVID is being kind of bad. I hope it ends soon. Mm -hmm. What about you? What do you think about it, Tom? It's, uh, it's, it's really boring. Sometimes it's okay and then other times it just gets very boring because we would like to do other things like see our friends or go play and do other stuff like that. But um, it kind of limits what we're able to do right now, doesn't yeah, like it? We're not able to go to church. I know, we're not able to go to church and we do all of our school remotely. So mm -hmm. not even going to school right now. So we are a little bit lonely. So we're really glad that you're here with us because it's really nice to have you along yeah, with us. Puggy. We had to bring Puggy along and Piggy and Owly, right? They yeah, all they had all to join wanted us. to see you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So we hope that we brought you some joy as you bring us joy every every time we gather. So as we begin, let's have a word of prayer. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Jesus, thank you for coming and being with us in our homes. Thank you for being human and knowing what it means to be tired and be scared and be happy and be joyful and have lots of questions. We thank you for your spirit and we pray that you are with us today. Amen. So we have a number of stories that we have gone through that talked about how Jesus comes into different people's homes. The first one was Peter and his mother-in-law. Do you remember what the second one was? Hmm. Can you remember? Hmm. The second one? Oh, Mary and Martha's visit. That was Mary and Zachariah? Martha's visit. Mm -hmm. And also a person who went up into a sycamore tree. Also that, remember that story? That was, uh, I think last, um, I think that is a great one, yeah. but that was last spring. I remember that. No, it was like in the summer. Years ago. And then we also had Elijah and the widow, and that was when they ate the bread. And I don't know if we made you hungry from our last episode mm -hmm. or not, but we ended up eating all that bread. It was pretty tasty. Yeah, yeah we ate the bread. We I tried to it make took you a little hungry. Long. I know. And this day, we're going to fast forward to where Jesus has, has died, and he was on the cross. There's a cross mm -hmm. right there. There we go. Okay. And then um, after three days, he was raised from the dead. And so he came back to life. And in that story, it reminds us that no matter what we face, that God can make a way through it. And every time we think that something is, is done and it's died, God, it's possible to make things happen that are impossible. And through that, we're given the gift of eternal life with God forever. So that is really good news. And it's great news that Jesus comes and says, don't be afraid. And he comes and says, peace be with you. And also with you. That's right. And he comes and he says, um, all the things that he has been doing, he wants us to do on earth. Mm -hmm. Wow. So we're to continue Jesus' work in the world. And that's what our story is today. So let's sing thy word and then we'll read. Okay. Thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light unto my path. One more time. Thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light unto my path. So for those who are following along, if you have your Spark Story Bible, we are on page 496. 496, so this is after Jesus has come back to life. And he's visiting people in their homes, and Peter would like to read it today. This is called the Great Commission. Jesus went to see the disciples after he had been raised from the dead. They buzzed with excitement. Is that you, Jesus? We're so glad to see you. Do you want something to eat? Jesus smiled. Peace 
be with you, he said. I have things to tell you. His disciples gathered, gathered close around Jesus, eager to listen to him. Jesus began, God has given me all the power in heaven and earth. The disciples looked at each other with and began chattering again. Whoa, wonderful, we knew it, fantastic. What will you do first? Wait, Jesus said, there's still more. And the disciples listened carefully. Go everywhere in the world and teach people about me. And remember, I will always be with you. Jesus returned to heaven. The happy disciples soon began to work. Jesus had told him them what to do. What did he tell them to do? He, well, it says right here, go everywhere in the world and teach people about me. Ooh. And remember, I will always be with you. I love that. That is such a great promise. So Jesus comes and he says, don't be afraid. He says, peace be with you. And then he said, all of God's power was given to him. Whoa. Whoa. That's amazing. Would you like to hear this star? Mm-hmm. And then to teach people about Jesus and that we have that power too. Yeah, yeah, everyone has that power. Everyone should. It's the right thing. That's what church is, che teaching people about Jesus. Mm -hmm. And remember, I am with you. So yes. no matter where we go, if we're in our homes, if we're in our schools, if we're in our church, if we're out um, and about, that Jesus is always with us and never leaves us. Let's see the star. What would you have done if you were in the room with Jesus and Peter to decide? Oh, what would you have done if Jesus came and stood in your room? I would be ecstatic. You would be ecstatic? Like, he's the creator of the universe. Yeah, like, then if this is his room, so I'd be right outside of it, and I'd be like, what? What's going on out there? Yeah, yeah, you would be. It, you would have a lot of questions. You would be excited. It would be pretty amazing to have that. Yeah, experience. I would be like, teach me more. Teach you more. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, can you make a show? Everything doesn't. Yeah, like ever in a band disease goes away. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Jesus, can you please heal our world and have every bad disease go away? Well, well, COVID is actually being great for the environment. I have to admit. Really? It's How being, so? Like, people are inside doing nothing, now working. The animals are out and about. They're all, like, hailing bats because they did that. They're, like, all, like happy because the environment's doing so well and that helps all the animals. Mm, the animals are enjoying um, some more time and some more space, that's for sure. But this is the mm. funny thing. They are having a great time while we're suffering. That's not funny actually. Mm. So how do we tell people about Jesus and Jesus love? What are the different ways? What do you think? Well, come on over so they can see you. Oh, oh yeah, cool. sorry. Well, what we do to celebrate their Jesus' love is we celebrate Christmas, the day he was born. We, yeah, we celebrate the day he was born. And also we mm -hmm. celebrate every Sundays because that's when he We dedicate died. a day mm -hmm. to him. Mm-hmm. And you'd probably be watching this on Sunday. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah he's, he's because like, God is amazing mm -hmm. and does so much for us so that we can have one day to thank God and praise God and sing Halle, Halle, Halle. Hallelujah. Do you remember that song? Halle, Halle, Halle. Hallelujah. Halle, Halle, Halle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wonderful. And that word means praise be to God. 
Thanks be to God. What a, what a joy it is to sing and to sing out our alleluias and thanksgiving, even in the midst of COVID days, even in the midst of times that are uncertain, that we can still sing out and give thanks to God for meeting us in our homes. So what was the activity that you had today, Tom? Well, I was, activity. when I was reading that, I was thinking like letters, like, oh. like what we could do is share letters. So look, we got some letters here. I was thinking we could do a play. So Pete says we can share Jesus' love by writing a letter. So he would grab one of these out. And then open them up. And right, then, right, 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 who right, would right. you Who would you send it to? I'd send People it to, in need? I'd send it to my, I'd send it to, well. Family oh, members? I'd send it to family. Mm -hmm. Like my. Like cousins and people yeah. who don't live in our home? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but... To bring some joy to their home? Who would you send it to? Most people I would do send it to, pe to people who are, who are forgetting themselves. Who are what? Forgetting what, what God is. Oh, just remind them that God is with them and that God mm -hmm. loves them. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I love that idea of writing a letter. Yes. You okay, Tom? Uh, I just got some face. That doesn't hurt too much. Though. Okay, good. So, Tom would like to do a play and act it out. All right. Yeah. How, how are you? We're in your house, and thanks for inviting me over. It's You're good welcome. to see you. Yeah. So, I was sad that Jesus died, but then I heard that he was alive. What? I know. He is? I don't know. I, I, like, I had heard about it, and I wondered if he would come and visit us here. I don't know. That would be awesome. I know, it would. I wonder what's going to happen. Hopefully he comes. Yeah. I really like your house. Thanks for inviting me over. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait, someone's at the door. Come on in. Why, hello there. Oh. Hello. Uh, hello. How are you? Hello. I I am Jesus. Hey Jesus, it's Hi. so great to see you. We've missed you. Yeah. Oh. Yes, I have arisen. But I have something to say to you. What? This will be the final ones of my days. And I will have to go to heaven. And all of God's power will go on to me. To help and save the world. Yay! That's, that's awesome. Wow! And so we're supposed to teach everybody about that. Yes, yes. Teach everyone you know about them. Tell the other disciples, and share the good news Wonderful. around the world. So you guys can tell the story and act it out too. You guys can write letters. You guys can give um, a call to people who might feel a little bit sad these days and feel like they are all alone. And Jesus said, here's our world. Go and tell people all around the world all about me. Yep, there's our world. Exactly. Even Antarctica. Yeah, That's it. Antarctica is pretty much just a, a cold place. Like, it, there's it nothing wrong with it. It's just cold. And, yeah. and uh, fun fact, animals only live on the outside of it because if you lived on the exact middle, then you'd freeze. Ah. Exactly. Plus, other fun fact, Antarctica is actually a desert. Okay, so, so good to be with you today. And we are going to have a prayer, and then we'll have our, um, our closing, okay? Okay! All right, so everybody grab your prayer rock. What? And who would like to go first? You can go to paint one too. Oh, if you yeah. Wanted. Paint a prayer here's, rock and send it to here's somebody. A, um, yeah, here's you a substitute. You painted it. What color? Red or pink? Pink. Nice. Pink, pink, because that's his favorite color. Yeah, I like this rock. I, love I it. also have this one. That's very that cool. That has like a little nice job. message on so it. So you can paint a prayer rock if you want to this week. And um, tell people all about Jesus' love. I love this rock because it's actually a heart. And that yeah. reminds me of Jesus' love. And you can almost put it right on the cross. There you go. Yeah, isn't all that right. really awesome? So let's begin. God, thank you for Jesus for giving him the power and the ability to share all about your love. Thank you for him come and coming and surprising us in our homes and reminding us that we are not alone, that you will be with us forever. 
Help us to share the good news with others and be with all who are in need. Okay. Make sure everyone that has COVID will stay alive because I don't want people to die from a stupid thing mm -hmm. because that's a stupid thing. And what is your prayer? Mm. And Tom, do you have anything to add today? All right. So God, hear our prayer this day and always. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And one thing I think that we should do is say the Lord's Prayer together. Okay? Our Father, who art in heaven, 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 hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, and but deliver, deliver us from evil. For thine, thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the, power, and the, and the glory, forever and ever. ever. Amen. Amen. Did you just hear in the Lord's Prayer, thine, yours, is the kingdom, the power, and the glory? Right? And we had just heard that all the power and authority was given to him. And so... Whoa. That is a great reminder of the Great Commission that we just read about. And that story comes from the Gospel of Matthew. It's a really great story. So thank you so much for joining us today. We hope that you had a great time with us. And remember to sing your Hallelujah song. Let's do it one more time before we go. Hallelujah. 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 Go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be 